Imagine being four months pregnant and alone in your apartment. You just had a minor car accident and you're feeling sick. You call your father and tell him you're going to see your doctor the next day. He tells you to rest and he'll call you back later. You hang up the phone and go to bed. The next morning you're gone. Your car is found in a parking lot with your belongings inside. There's no sign of you or your baby. That's what happened to Amber Wilda, a 19-year-old college student who disappeared in 1998. This is the mystery that haunts her family and friends to this day. Amber Lynn Wilde was born on March 26, 1979, in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. She was a bright and ambitious young woman who had a passion for writing and journalism. She graduated from Campbell Sport High School in 1997 and enrolled at the University of Wisconsin, Green Bay, where she majored in communication processes. She also worked part-time at a local radio station as a receptionist and news writer. Amber's life took an unexpected turn when she became pregnant in the spring of 1998. According to her diary entries, the father of her unborn child was Matthew Schneider, a man she met at a party in April of that year. Matthew was engaged to another woman named Heidi who was unaware of his affair with Amber. Amber claimed that Matthew pressured her to have an abortion, but she refused. She also wrote that Matthew threatened her and told her to stay away from him and his fiance. On September 23, 1998, Amber called her father from her apartment on August Street in Green Bay. She told him that she had been involved in a minor car accident earlier that day and that she was feeling dizzy and nauseous. She also said that she had an appointment with her doctor the next day to check on her baby's health. Her father advised her to rest and said he would call her back later. That was the last time anyone heard from Amber. 19 years old when she went missing back in 1998. So now more than 20 years later, her family is still looking for answers. Local 5's Aaron Taylor spoke with Amber's aunt about the disappearance and the ongoing effort to find her. The last one, yeah. That was the very last picture we have of her. The last image of a 19-year-old UW-Green Bay student. Between the work study, her classes, and then, you know, like I said, with the student government and stuff. So she was, she was, you know, she was doing really well. Missing since 1998. She was on her way to her, um, I believe her work study that morning. It was a Wednesday morning. Um, she had a little fender bender. A fender bender that left Amber with a slight concussion and instructions to have someone check on her in the morning. Her dad. My the next day, Amber did not show up for her classes or her doctor's appointment. Her family and friends became worried and tried to contact her, but there was no answer. They reported her missing to the Green Bay Police Department on September 25. The police searched Amber's apartment and found no signs of foul play or struggle. They did find Amber's diary, which revealed her relationship with Matthew and his alleged threats. On October 1, 1998, Amber's car, a silver 1988 Subaru Gale, was found in a parking lot near Lambeau Field Stadium in Green Bay. The car was unlocked and had damage to the front end. Inside the car were Amber's purse, cell phone, keys, and some stuffed animals. There was no trace of Amber or her baby. The police focused their investigation on Matthew Schneider as the prime suspect in Amber's disappearance. They interviewed him several times and searched his home and vehicle. They also obtained DNA samples from him and his fiancée Heidi. However, they did not find any conclusive evidence linking him to the crime. Matthew denied any involvement in Amber's disappearance and claimed that he had broken off his relationship with her before she went missing. He also said that he was not sure if he was the father of her baby. Katie Schneider stood by her husband's side and defended him against the accusations. 
She said that she believed Matt when he told her that he had nothing to do with Amber's disappearance. She also said that she felt sorry for Amber's family and hoped they would find closure someday. To this day, Amber Lynn Wilder remains missing and presumed dead. Her case is still open and active, but no arrests have been made. The FBI has offered a reward of up to $20,000 for information leading to the resolution of this case. If you have any information about Amber Lynn Wilde's disappearance, or if you saw her or someone else driving her car on or after September 23, 1998, please contact the Green Bay Police Department at 920-400-4200 or the FBI at 414-214-276-4680. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Also, let me know what you think about this case in the comments below. Do you think Matthew Schneider is guilty or innocent? What do you think happened to Amber Lynn Wilda? I would love to hear your thoughts and theories. Until next time, stay curious and stay safe.